Welcome back again, you guys, to another Friday vlog. What's beeping? Something's beeping. So this week I have been working on a really big commission that I'm doing. I'm illustrating a, a story that um, some friends of mine are going to be using at a kids camp this summer and they need some pictures so they hired me to do the illustrations for it and it's super fun but it is really taking a lot longer than I thought it would um, because I'm not doing just my generic drawing. I'm really trying to push myself with some techniques and they're really cool but they're really time consuming. So I have to have it completely finished by Tuesday, which is not too far away, but I am over halfway. I have been working on it since the beginning of this month. Stop beeping! I have been working on it pretty much the whole month, so these last few days are going to be really focused on getting these pictures done, but I've got them all planned out in my head, so hopefully it'll go fairly quickly. Maybe. Another fun thing is I have an official art a la carte jingle. I've been playing around with this idea in my head for several months now that I wanted to have just a, a little intro music that is just strictly for this channel that when you hear the little jingle you're thinking oh art a la carte and um, decided that I would push forward to try to um, create one. Now I am not musically talented. I can sometimes rhyme a word but that's absurd. Word absurd. That kind of rhymes. Anyway, um, but as far as like creating music, n no. I do have a garage band on my iPad, so I thought, well, let's just give it a try. So I was on a two hour drive one time and for the entire two hours worked with trying to come up with a jingle and kind of came up with one that I liked and played around with it on GarageBand to try to find out if I can create a tune, which basically just entailed me pushing buttons and hoping that it all turned out good, which it didn't. <laughs> so I put a holler out to uh, my friends, any of my music friends who wanted to help me out with this. A lot of my friends volunteered to help me out. So thank you everyone who was like willing to jump on there and help me with this jingle. But we finally got the piece created and it sounds fantastic. I'm super excited. So it was kind of a collaboration between several different people helping me figure out the words and the music and then of course the beautiful voice talent and recording the music and all that. So I'm gonna give you guys the first ever hearing of the jingle at the end of this video. So stick around for that. I'm hoping in this next week after my commission is done that I will have some time to film a little studio tour and show you how everything is set up because it always seems to be a something of great interest how I set my cameras up, my lighting and all that fun stuff. So I have done a video for my old setup. So this is my new setup. So I will show you how that all works, hopefully soon. I got same fun things from my Redbubble shop, a bunch of cool stuff. All of these things pretty much you can order as well if you want some. So I got some new stickers. I got the Blue Mermaid sticker. And yes, I am planning on doing the rest of the colors and kind of doing a Rainbow Mermaid series, but so far we just have blue. I have the Clockwork Fox sticker done, and I love this one. It just turned out really great. And it's actually like, if you look, it's, Cut out to the shape, so that's gonna be fun. We'll just pop out that. Another one I'm super excited about is Slother Moon. For those of you guys who were part of the live feed that I had, not the last one, but the one before, we designed Slother Moon. And then my favorite sticker of all that I got so far is the Mochi sticker. She turned out so stinking cute as a sticker. Um, I love, love, love her, and I will definitely probably be buying more. So I have actually two versions of Mochi. I have this one, and then I have one that actually says Mochi across the front of her. So if you want your own Mochi sticker, head over to my Redbubble shop. And last but not least, I want to try out their prints and see how well their prints look. So I got this. I think it's a eight and a half by 11 print size of the Clockwork Fox. And I'm actually gonna be giving this away when I reach 100,000 subscribers. Um, when I do my contest, that will be one of the prizes in the contest, so I'm super excited about that. So one of you guys will win that. Yeah, and we're getting close to that. We are, I just checked right now, and we're over 93,000. So that means we have less than 7,000 subscribers to go. But I am collecting a bunch of prizes. I have some really fun things planned. I'm super excited about. I think that's all of my news so far because really I've just been doing nothing but sitting here in my studio working on work, which is fun, and hanging out with kids. I worked at a little kids camp uh, for a couple of days this week. That was fun too. Got a sunburn and everything. 
So before we go and listen to the jingle, I want to give a great shout out to some people that helped me out with this uh, project, and that is David D'Andrea and his daughter Haley D'Andrea. Both are amazing musicians and uh, vocal geniuses. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel and his professional page in the description box below if you want to go check him out. He's a very fun guy. And his daughter Haley, who has an amazing voice, lent her beautiful talents to the jingle as well. And I'll put information to her website where you can listen to some of her songs, many of which she wrote herself. I'm going to leave you guys with the brand new Art a la carte jingle. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye! Pencil and some paper and the best 